I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira. Two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. This week we find ourselves at around the halfway mark on our run from Beaufort, North Carolina to Norfolk. With around 80 nautical miles of sailing today, our first obstacle is going to be the ditch, a 20 nautical mile run through a man-made canal. Alright, this bridge right here marks the start of the ditch, which is the man-made 20 mile cut through. The Alligator River Pungo River Canal, also known as the Ditch, was originally engineered in the 1950s as a way to provide drainage for local farmlands. Now though, it's used mainly as a cut through for boats traveling north or south on the intercoastal waterway. following swell so that's given us a push as well and we're doing about six knots and we're only on 1600 rpm so pretty good we are approaching this bridge right here which is a pretty amazing bridge when you look at it i don't know what this runs but it is massive anyway this separates from what and correct me if i'm wrong this separates the Alligator River from Albemarle Sound. I hope I said that right. So we are going to go into that sound now and continue downwind sailing. So very excited. We've done a huge, huge day today, but we waited for the right winds because last time when we came down this way, we actually bashed into a little bit of swell so it definitely slowed us down so this uh, bridge operator has been really sweet last time they told us to take our sail down this guy said nope you can go through with the sail so we're gonna go through with our sail up um, so that's kind of cool well it has been a big day today we are still going as you can see it's eight o'clock at night still about half an hour of sun left uh, we've been going since what 8 30 this morning haven't we so huge day big day but we planned on it uh, we had like an intermediary stop where if we didn't want to continue we'd take it but we decided to push on and do two days in one all up we'll have done about 76 miles today um, so you gotta love these long summer days, but yeah, big, big day. In how um, many hours? In how many hours? It'll be 12 hours, 76 miles. So, uh... In 12 hours. Yeah, we had a quite, a, quite good motor sailing conditions earlier, so we made some time up. Um, but yeah, so we are just coming out of, how do you say it? The Albemarle. Albemarle Sound. We're gonna be anchored just before Coin Jock, just for reference, so. Yeah. But yeah, we thought we'd just sign off with you now before it gets dark in about 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, before we anchor. So anyways, we will catch up with you guys in the morning where we make our run to Chesapeake, Virginia. One Ooh. of our favorite spots. Yeah. 10 hours later. 
Well, good morning, everyone. As you can see, the sun is just coming up. It's just after six in the morning. We've been running for about 45 minutes. And yeah, we have a much shorter run today. We had a big sleep last night. It was a huge, huge day yesterday. We did almost 80 miles in 11 hours and 50 minutes. So yeah, it was a big day. But today is excellent. It's beautiful out. It's gonna be a hot day, I can tell. And we only have to do about 37 nautical miles, which is great. Maybe even a bit less, actually. And we'll probably spend a couple days there. Um, they give you 48 hours for free, I think. Um, or is it 72? I can't remember. But they gave you a few days, which is awesome. Um, and it's right in front of the Great Bridge. So, just had a coffee. The doggos are fed. And yeah, as you can see, I'm adjusting course already. We got one sailboat in front of us, one that we just passed an anchor. All is well on the ICW, not a lot to report. Um, yeah. We've got a few bridges today. There's a couple of swing bridges. I can't remember if there's a drawbridge or no. I think they're all swing bridges. A couple of fixed bridges. Definitely a bridge day today um, as we're getting closer to Norfolk. So, anyways, we're going to settle in here for quite a few miles. Here we go. After a fairly easy run up the ICW today, we're happy to see that there's a spot available at the free dock. That's it, we've made it to Chesapeake City. There was a spot right on the end of the dock, so we are so happy. We had someone here to help us, which is amazing, from one of the other monoholes. Um, he knew exactly what to do, this kid, so it was excellent. These guys have just got a treat, and then we're gonna be getting them off to Go for a walk through here. There's tons of different walks, so. All right. Go. <laughs> That's it. Oh. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> well, our journey continues here at we're at Chesapeake City. We're at the Virginia. Great Vir Chesapeake City, Virginia. We're at the Great Bridge, the Free Dock. Um, I've talked about this before. There's one on each side of the Great Bridge, and they're phenomenal. We love them. We're having a great time. You get this amazing walk through the yeah. wilderness, which is beautiful. Yeah. And there's the museum right next to us, the Great Bridge, which is always fun watching, and. We just love it here. Yeah. There's, it's so good for cruisers because if you actually go into town, which is a, only a short walk, like five minute walk, and you're into a laundromat, uh, the Kroger's there, just a bunch of shops. So if you need to get anything done, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it really so, is. And one of the, the best sushi places as well, all you can eat. Oh yeah, hey, oh. Ooh, that was a bit much. <laughs> the dogs are uh, full amazing. of beans this morning. Look at these two. Oh. Yeah, so for anybody doing the ICW and... Well, you don't have to do all the ICW, but if you're doing any part of the ICW in the north, if you don't fancy sailing around Hatteras and you are 65 feet air draft or under, it's actually a pretty fun run down through the ICW. It's about 180 miles from Norfolk to uh, Beaufort, North Carolina. So it's not crazy and uh, definitely, definitely a really enjoyable little section of the ICW. Anyways, we're on this amazing trail. As you can see, this is right next to the south side free dock on the, of the Great Bridge. And it's about a mile and a quarter loop. 
and there's a bunch of little uh, trails in here and we love it. Dogs can roam free. It's actually just super beautiful. So we call this parade mode when they run with a stick together. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> These guys are 10 and a half months old and yeah, they just want what the other one has. And so there's a real power struggle going on between these two at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's making for some interesting growing pains at the moment, but yeah. Keeps us busy, that's for sure. Yeah. But the good thing is when they do find something they're battling for when they walk, it makes the walk so much easier. Look at this parade mode. <laughs> good boy, good girl. Uh, off on parade mode, we call it. <laughs> so the doggos were playing around in this one spot and I was trying to figure out why and I've seen it. There's a cool little turtle. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cool? There's his little... <laughs> what a cool little turtle! He had everything on this trail. Come on guys, let's leave the poor turtle alone. I learned a cool new word from my super scientific marine biologist uh, partner, which is car carapace, is that how you say it? The carapace. So she's like, the carapace will protect it. I was like, what the heck's a carapace? Apparently carapace is shell. I call that my minute with Natalie. I have one of those every day. <laughs> I learned something new. Uh, anyways, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, buddy. This is known as the Eastern Box Turtle. They typically get between 10 to 15 centimeters in size and will often lay anywhere between one to five eggs. Oh, so Kira has found another turtle. And if you look inside, there's nesting. eggs. The nesting. All right, we're gonna leave them alone. Come on, guys, let's go. Wow. That is so cool. Wasn't that amazing? How did we miss that when we walked by here before? I don't know, I guess. And they missed it too, because normally they, you know, find it. But There was a couple of eggs in that hole, hey? There's a couple. Yeah. Oh, Blinky, be careful, yeah? 